The Unicycle. One man, one mountain. The Blomberg, south of Munich, is more than 1,000 meters high. The ground is soft after heavy rains, and the roots are slippery. Perfect conditions, according to unicyclist Sebastian Niedner. It's actually more fun when it's wet. That makes it more difficult and scary. Niedner is one of Germany's best unicyclists. The 19-year-old from Munich turned professional at age 11. Since then, he's won world championships and set world records in the sport. A good unicyclist is somebody who is tough. If you fall down, you've got to get up again and carry on and never give up. And ambition is always a part of it. You have to persevere, and if you don't succeed at first, you must always try again until you do. Straight to his favorite discipline, the downhill. This involves pedaling down the mountain as quickly as possible. The foothills of the Alps are a popular destination for walkers and mountain bikers. I think it's a lot more dangerous when he's on his bicycle. But on the unicycle, I know he's in control. He picks up the occasional scratch and might get covered in mud and dirt, but nothing really bad happens to him. Unicycling used to be associated with young children and clowns. Today, it's a real sport. People come from all over the world to compete in tournaments like the Salzkammergut Trophy in Austria. The sport is becoming increasingly popular. More and more people are turning professional, and they're getting younger and better. I noticed that I wasn't riding as well as they do now at that age. So a lot of positive changes are happening. Niedner trains almost every day. Unicycling is no longer just a toy for him. Pushing himself to the limit has won him a string of medals, some in quite interesting disciplines. He's a two-time world champion in slow backward, for example. He's clocked one minute and 12 seconds for traveling 10 meters in reverse. That's a world record. A unicycle can cost between 150 and 500 euros, depending on the discipline. Niedner takes seven with him to world championships. He also teaches courses for beginners, and he's captain of a Munich unicycle club. There were people I used to idolize, and whom I was daunted by, and now I've become that person. And I think that's a very good development. And he's determined to continue that evolution, and to carry on picking up new titles and new records. <laughs>